Good morning, everybody. So, this is the coffee that I have in my cup. And this is the condensed milk that I'm using. I'm just going to go ahead and pour it in my cup. I don't need too much. That's good. And then I have some. I'm going to go ahead and pour some already made hot water like halfway i think that's a little more than half but that should be fine and i'm just gonna stir it up and it should be good to go hey guys good morning i just started off by showing you guys how i made my coffee my coffee is right here you guys know that i love well i don't know you guys know but my snapchat knows um i like this cup a lot it's like the best for coffee it's just it's just the right amount of coffee um and it keeps my coffee warm all day my coffee is a little bit watery but that's fine i look like death so please don't mind me i just had like 30 minutes to an hour an hour to 30 minutes of sleep um i don't really remember but ever since we have been quarantined or the coronavirus is getting worse and worse i just haven't been sleeping I just feel like it is my time to catch up on my Netflix shows, my YouTube videos, just anything that I can. I have been catching up on it. So I haven't been getting a lot of sleep, but me and Eric had really important errands to run this morning. So we had to get up by 8.30 the latest. It is 9 o'clock when I did make this coffee, it was 8.45. So there's that. Um, I just wanted to say that I have filmed this intro many times. I just really have no words to say i do have a lot of opinions about what is going on with the world right now i don't want to share my opinions with you guys just because it is a very touchy subject for not only me but for everybody else around the world as well everybody else is affected different ways whether they're losing their job whether they have the coronavirus or they're experiencing it or it's in their town i am grateful enough to live somewhere where it is severe we do have cases around me but it's very few i'm living somewhere where we are not on such a severe lockdown obviously it is a serious subject and we are staying away from people as much as we can we are stocking up we are not hoarding and we uh, we're staying away from people as much as we can the schools are closed we are not hoarding we're stocking up um we just have some important errands to run this morning that is why we are out of the house we haven't been out of the house actually for like four days um ever since i kind of started i just me and eric were home but we're not really home bodies we're more night owls and a lot of things are starting to close that me and eric noticed you guys know that i work at a daycare so it's kind of hard right now i've been going to the gym consistently and we have also been trying to find TP, toilet paper, because that is just one thing that cannot stay in stock in the stores. We got lucky and we got two packs one time and those two packs are about to run out and we need a little bit more. Um, so we thought maybe if we come out early after this errand that we had to run. I feel like around me, not many people are in panic just because there is so many places that aren't shut down work is still normal um there are cars running around everywhere it's not a ghost town around me so i just want to say that we are safe i hope that you guys are safe i'm praying that this short period of time is over very soon because it is a very very real scary time people are losing their jobs we're not going to school it's just hard to come just to make it and who knows what's going to be happening to the world. So I just got home from running errands. Um, I'm going to be making these pre-steamed vegetable and pork dumplings. So I just came back home from running my errands. I'm going to be taking a nap after this because I am tired. But um, I'm going to be cooking these pre-steamed vegetable and pork dumplings. We are on business lockdown, so that means that 
all the restaurants are being closed down um only leave the house when you need to like we're on lockdown but we're not on a severe lockdown um i have my pan of oil here it's like preheating or like it's getting warmed up we're in business lockdown to my understanding which means what i said this morning that a lot of restaurants are closing down and they are only doing to goes you should only be leaving for work and the grocery store it's gonna be a more of a what i eat in a day um i haven't really been vlogging much just because there's really nothing to vlog i was gonna vlog for you guys today like what i do in a day of quarantine but there's really nothing all i did was watch netflix or go to sleep get on my phone everything that everybody else is doing so these are my dumplings they're just cooking i'm waiting for them to brown more at the bottom to go with my dumplings i've been making this little sauce so i put some chili paste inside of this little like a small little container it's kiko soy sauce I use the Kiko soy sauce. I try to use the low sodium, but we don't have any. And I really don't want to go to the store. But yeah, so this is how I make my little sauce. I This is like the dim sum sauce that you can make. Um, so I just use it to dip my dumplings in because my dumplings, they're fried. And I just need something to cut down the oiliness of them. Obviously, my dumplings are fried. So I need something to cut the oily oiliness down of them so i make this little sauce that i just dip it in i'm not gonna eat the dumplings it's been a minute since i cooked them so hopefully they're still a little crunchy i heard eric's crunch so let's see you know what they look like on the inside it's like pork cabbage and some green onions. I'm gonna try to dip in the sauce, but they are really good though. Mm. And with every meal, I've literally been drinking a lot of water. In the instant pot we have some pork in here last night so we can so we can shut it and it can get like all nice and soft we haven't had it since hawaii and we haven't been to hawaii for like four years now it's basically just you can either do a patty or pulled pork on top of rice with brown gravy and um an egg my mom made some my mom made some rice soup for lunch, I will show you guys how to make the loco moco. I should have filmed when my mom made this rice soup. It's actually really easy. I will leave links down below to make the rice soup. Sorry that I didn't film it, but I will be filming how to make the loco moco. The loco moco is really easy. It's really self-explanatory. You just need to shred some pork. You need brown gravy, eggs, and rice. It is 3.42. I woke up at... 8 30 and i came home at 11. i took a nap i was supposed to get ready and i was supposed to film my instagram tv today but i just didn't do any of it so yeah we're gonna eat this rice soup we're gonna come back and make the loco moco and yeah hey guys it's the next day i didn't end up making the loco moco i just went to sleep and i went back to sleep and i woke up and ate the rice soup so i will show you guys how to make the loco moco in a different what i eat in a day video if you guys did like these types of videos or you guys have any suggestions don't forget to give this video a thumbs up comment it down below don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell to get a notification when i upload a new video